Hey guys, it's raining. We're right outside my house. Perfect day to try out my poncho tarp tent. Make sure it sets up the way I really want it to. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm done. Let me show you around. Okay, well, there's my porch. You can tell I'm right outside my house. I'm really glad I set it up today because um, there's a couple things that I learned about it. One, I tried staking this part out to the ground, and what it did is it made the whole tent, sent, bleh, the whole tent sag. So you would really need a tall branch, um, almost like I have these poles set up. You would need a branch or something to stake this out uh, to a higher elevation. Uh, I just happen to have this pole laying around, so I put it in there. Um, it could also go to a tree or whatever else. This is a not very uh, strong wind setup. This is just a uh, regular setup, but it makes it really comfortable inside. You can see there's a lot of headroom and a lot of area to cook. I have an emergency uh, uh, emergency blanket laid down in there to keep me off the wet ground. It's just uh, really nice, especially if in the middle of the night it starts raining horizontally or or whatever you can always crawl inside the emergency sleeping bag to uh, to really stay dry but anyway I feel uh, pretty secure in this uh, what I did to set this up is I have these little uh, little beaners that I put in the corners a prussic knot here to uh, keep the tension on the stake I can adjust that tension with the prussic knot and slide it up and down if you guys want to learn how to make the Prusik knot, it's easy enough to just go uh, online and look it up. Of course, I also have my uh, mosquito netting attachment, and I can show you that in a different video, but that's in case it's buggy, which today it's raining, it's gross, and it's early spring, so there's still no bugs out. All right, I'm going to sit down and show you what it looks like inside. Okay. Well, it's all set up as you can see. A couple things that I would change. Number one, you want to make sure that the rain or the wind is coming from the back side of this. I do have that. What I would change is the lines. The color of the lines is just a military parachute cord. Great for strength and uh, durability, but they're terrible to see at night. I would change those to uh, like a, a, um, a luminous line or something like that. Um, as far as under here, it's raining pretty hard, so I have this tilted down part. But if I wanted to spend all day under here, if I was taking a zero mile day in a rain, I would try to set this up higher. Uh, and you can also stake the uh, back up higher. But I have this stake down real low for heavy rains. I'm gonna sleep under this tonight. I got a little wet setting it up. But I don't know a tent that you don't get wet setting it up. Uh, my camera right now is underneath my rain hat. And uh, I don't know how waterproof it's staying, so I'm gonna cut this short. And uh, I'm gonna stay out here tonight and make sure that everything's the way I like it. But for under a pound, and also doubling as my rain gear, you really can't beat this setup, okay? Uh, that's it for me. Any questions, post them or email them to me. Check out my website, there's a lot of great stuff on there, a lot of follow-up stuff, a lot of recipe stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys out on the trail.